your natural soap knees and those wonderful sugar scrubs. Y'all, these products are the best thing going. I'm telling you, you are not going to want to go back to store-bought soap ever again. So, y'all, hit her up on Facebook. She has a business page, Sussy Bubbles. And I'm telling you, once you start, it's over. You ain't going back. So, thank you so much, Sussy Bubbles. Oh, shout, shout out to James Ridley and Renee Helms. They got the skin, scalp, and beard oil going. Y'all hit them up, www.oil.shop. Follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Oil Shop. That's O-I-L apostrophe D Shop. Thank you so much, Renee and James. Is that everybody? <laughs> That's five. I'm going to do the rest of them after um, we get to the end of the show. Quando! What's up? Let's get this thing started. Quando, first of all, I want to say that I'm so proud of you. Because you are really doing your thing. You know, it's such a young age. And it's all positive vibes. Yes, you know? Yes, I love it. I love it. So, why don't you give the people um a little bit of your background history. Let us know where you're from and what school you go to and what grades you went. All that good stuff before we get to the meet. Now, I'm from Jackson, Mississippi, but that was more of my younger life. But now I'm in Madison. I go to Germantown High School. I'm 16, 11th grade. Your younger life? Yeah. Hey man, you 16. What happened to your younger life? I was younger. <laughs> like I, was, I moved from there when I was 11. I, I lived 11 years there, so like now my teenage life, I can say that. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll my take teenage that. life. I'll take that. Madison. But I'm 11 grade, 16, football, I play football, pretty much don't do nothing, play football, the rap, make shirts. Wait a minute, I seen you had made the, uh, then you, you made the junior, um, bow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The homecoming. Don't leave that now. Oh, yeah, I want to yeah, yeah. know everything. That's, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's, that's positive vibes. Yeah. Now, when did you decide you wanted to start rapping? Where did this all come from? Ooh, that's a good question. I really, I honestly do not know. One night, I was just listening to beats. Because I used to make beats like in eighth grade. But I really wasn't, you know, I wasn't serious with it. So like, it was like eighth grade, ninth grade. So I just was listening to a beat. I'm like, I just want to try rapping one time. Yeah. So I just tried it. And like, they was like, well, you, you good at it. So I'm like, Really feeling me. I might need to try it yeah. out. Yeah. So, so it's just something I, I I took it in with. And it was a good thing too. Yeah. You know. So Kondo, you you write all your songs? Yes, I write every last song. Every last song you hear come from me. I wrote it. What about your beats? I don't do that. I uh get them off YouTube and buy them off YouTube pieces. Okay. You got some cold beats though. You yeah, know what I'm sure. saying? Now I um. Let me talk about some of these songs. First, motivation. First of all, you know, tell us the, the story behind this song. When you when you wrote it, what, what what made you write this song? I don't even know. It, it was just the beat. The beat, like it. Every song I write depends on how the beat is. If I'm feeling the beat, like this gonna be one of my hardest, my coldest songs. Like I write that song in like less than an hour just cause the beat, just that good to me. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's catchy. People like that song. Like, it's easy to learn. So, this is my first video I shot because, like, I feel like that was one of my, that was going to be one of my star songs. So, I had to shoot a video of that one. Yeah. I like the video. So. Yeah. People people want to see your face. They just don't want to see the cover art on YouTube. And then people want to see who you are. And, like, All right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, point though. I want to talk about some of them lyrics because you know what my favorite Baby, I'm shooting way back from the three. Yeah. She working with him and come looking for me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tell me about that, Quando. These lyrics. How you be coming up with this stuff? Do it be real life situations or you just you just having fun right? Having fun right. Having fun right. You know, like I said, it really be the beat. I don't know. I don't know how I be coming up with this stuff. It's just popping my head back to back, bar for bar. This is how I go with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now the first video shoot I came to was your sorrow. Sorrow. Yeah. 
point though, I'm telling you, I was like Inspector Gadget that day because I was I was all over town trying to find y'all. Yeah. Y'all kept switching locations yeah, on yeah. me, you know. But I finally swung down on y'all. I jumped out this thing. I said, okay, then they go right there, you know. Yeah. Now, Sauro, tell me the story behind Sauro. Oh, yeah. My, uh, my, my big cousin, he died early January, early this year, 2020. And, like, I, I always wanted to write a song about him. Like, I got a song, I got lyrics that I never, I never put on a song and, like, never recorded. But, like, so I started the song. I was, the name of the beat was Sorrow. And, like, I was like, I was feeling sorrow. Yeah. And then, so I'm like, I'm sorrow. Uh, my cousin just died. I'm like, I got to put him in. So, yeah. And so... It's, and then part I say, now my daddy dog gone. Like him and my daddy like close. Like yeah, I felt that too. Yeah, I felt so, it. And the little slick Rick, we call him Slick Rick. Slick Rick. I'm Slick Rick. So. Yeah. Now, now you had no cap in there, which I thought you were gonna bring him today. Ah, uh, that's my boy though. <laughs> Shout out to no cap one. Yeah. yeah. Now I saw you went to Atlanta to do your video shoot. Yeah, Tell us about that. Oh, that was, that was good. It was good, good vibes. Uh, I, I, I wanted for this uh, the, uh, tape I dropped, I wanted to have an intro, because you know the name of the tape is Life of a Bag Baby, so I wanted to have an intro with a video that come out like a week before the tape. So I was like, I just don't want to do this in, in Mississippi. I want to go somewhere. Yeah. So I went to Atlanta. And Took some of my own boys with me, bad baby too. And we shot it up there. And had to find uh some somebody to shoot the video because I really ain't want to take nobody from Jackson. I want it to be good quality. I ain't saying they quality bad, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? I want somebody to have good quality and you know what they want to do. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? You should want to know you want the best and you want you to get the Everything to be 100. Yeah. So, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, um, tell us about life of a bad baby. Uh, people usually ask me how long it took me to get done with the tape. Mm -hmm. I, I started like right after when school got out. We got out of quarantine. Like, what month was that? April. All the time I had, I used to work a job uh, at the car wash, drive the car wash. Every time I get out of work, I come home right. So it really ain't take me no time to, no time to do the tape because like, I mean, if I was doing it every day, I would, I could get done easy. Mm -hmm. But like, I do a song a week, don't even do nothing with music for a week after that, and just like do it when I feel like it, like. So. I had a lot of songs that I never dropped, so I was like, I ain't got enough music out. This is the way I can have a lot of music out. Like, I think it's time for a tape. And then everything, everything I do, like people know me at school now is bad, baby, because mm -hmm. of my shirts and all that. Yeah. So I couldn't find a name, so I just felt like life of a bad baby would be the right name. Like, this is life of a bad baby. I love it. I like it. It's catchy, you know. Yeah. It's like your own. Yeah. Ain't nobody else got it, you know. I love it. It's 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 Quando. Quando. <laughs> Quando. Now tell us, are you an only child? No, ma'am. I have three older siblings. I'm the youngest. You the youngest. Yes, ma'am. So you got sisters or brothers? All or? brothers. All brothers. All brothers. So tell us. How does your family play a part in your music? Oh, they support me strong from all of them. Like, all of my brothers, mom and dad, especially my dad, he go hard for me. He go hard for me in my music. He gonna promote it good. He gonna, you know, do his thing. He know a lot of people too, so that's a good thing. Shout out to Pop. Shout out to Pop. <laughs> Now, mom, too, now. Yeah, mom, too. Give mom her props, too, because yeah. mom was on location, too, at the video shoot. Yeah, yeah, shout out to moms, too. 
Well, that's wonderful, Kondo, that your family supports you, you know, yeah. and everything that you do. That's that's very important, you know, and I, I give you props because you're a good kid, yeah. you know. You're not out here doing this, that, and the other. You could be, you know, doing everything else. But in the midst of everything that's going on in the world, you are doing something positive, making music. Do you enjoy doing it, Wanda? Yes, man. Like when I get done with a song, I'm like, I really did that, bro. I be like, Be proud of yourself. Yeah, I be proud of myself. Yeah, as you should be. That's back. right. You should. You should because I mean it's a wonderful thing. Um, I always looked at you like. Son, I never had. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I have on the girls. And I was like, this man, Rondo is like a model son. You know, yeah. like this guy is so doggone good, man. You can't say nothing bad about him. And that's the thing that I love so much because I was like, you talk about positive, positive vibes. Rondo got positive vibes. You know, yeah. so that's it's just it's wonderful. It's wonderful. So your friends. Tell us about that. How your friends play a part in your music. Talk about them bad babies, huh? Yeah, tell us about them bad babies. <laughs> my boys. They gonna, like I said, they gonna support me too. They gonna support me. They gonna, you know, do their thing. My brothers. They about the most. Like, ones that uh, do their part. They, like, my friends, they, uh, they, yeah, yeah. Who are some of the uh, music artists that you look up to? Uh, right now. Yeah. Rod Wave. This, this number one. Yeah. And I put NBA Youngboy. Then Hot Little Baby. That's the top three right yeah. there. Rod Wave for sure though. Off top. Off top. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Why Rod Wave? Man, I like his flow. I like how he did. Are there any artists in Mississippi that you want to work with? Uh, I want to work with. It ain't, it ain't, you know, it ain't too many big artists. I look up to big artists. I'm not really local. I got people I do music with, but like my cousin BB Tay Tay, this one, like me and him, people say we should be a group. Like I miss him strong. Like we. Like, our bun on the song just, just good. Y'all have songs together? Yes, man. And so, like, but outside of that, I don't really, I don't really want to feature with nobody in Mississippi, because Mississippi not a popping state. I really go to Atlanta, where people, a lot of people, mm -hmm. and get a different It's more opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. Cause are you looking to make this a career yes, one day? Yes, That's what I'm talking about, going up. That's what I'm talking about. Get it, get it, get it. Now, how do you juggle doing doing music and school and playing football and making shirts and making shirts? I know you got the bad baby apparel. I mean, you you got a lot of. You got your hands on a lot of stuff. Yeah, How you handling all this? I don't get no sleep. So, school every morning, football practice, get out of uh, about five, six, come home, make shirts, do homework, so about 10, 11, 1 o'clock, I'm getting to bed. Wake up, do it all over again. That's hard work and grind. Yeah. You know, you, you dedicate. Yeah, I usually make songs either on the weekends, something like that. That's when I had the most times. So, you know, school is the most important, though. Yes, oh, wow. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I want you, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the right path. Yes, ma'am. You know, and your music, that's wonderful, too. But the education. Yes, you got to have your education because you got to be able to know how to handle your business. Yes, ma'am. You know, because when you get out there, it's going to be so exciting, you know what I'm saying? And everything going to sound so good and so sweet, and you're going to want to take it out. But you just beat you up, shoot you out, and just throw you back out there to the woods. So you got to be careful. You got to know what you're doing. You got to make sure you got a team that's going to be there and, and look out for your best interest. Yeah. 
the lawyers and all that. Yeah. You know, because it's, it's, it's third game, but at the same time, it can be one. Yes, 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 yes. So, Quando, tell us about, I'm sorry, the mixtape is out now, right? Yes, everywhere. How can people get it? Just type uh, Quando, K W O N D O, on all streaming platforms, on Apple Music, Spotify, uh, YouTube, Tidal, uh, everywhere, Pandora, iHeartRadio, about everywhere. Yeah. That's good, Quando. You ain't playing no games with him. No games. You getting your name right there. Right and that's what you're supposed to do. I like your hustle, you know what I'm saying? You you got so so many things going on at such a young age and and and, and you don't see that too much. You know, but at the same time, we got a lot of young entrepreneurs now. You know, kids your age and some even young that are starting businesses now and and becoming their own bosses at a young age. So the possibilities are endless. Just, you know what I'm saying? So I want to ask you, have you performed anywhere yet? No, I ain't, I ain't performed yet. I want to say because of the COVID. Mm-hmm. Not, they ain't been doing shows like they normally do. But like, I can't wait for the opportunity to turn up the stage go speak. Well, you know that opportunity is coming in January, right? Because yeah. <laughs> the Fox Cave Chronicles reunion concert is going to be off the chain, man. I'm telling y'all. Y'all don't want to miss out. I'm almost locked in on the location, so coming soon. That's all I'm going to say on that. Paul, you're going to turn up on the stage, huh? Turn up on the stage. So this might be your first performance if you don't perform you know, in between yeah. time. You excited about that? Yes, yeah, ma'am. You know, you have to be able to have fans and all that. Yeah, good. Like, I don't even know these people in school. They be like, come on, come on. Like, real talk. Like, mm-hmm. people at school, like, since I dropped Life of a Bad Baby Tape, I had flyers all around the school. Like, teachers got the money for it. It's from every, like, everybody. Te- teachers wearing my hoodies, buying my hoodies from me. So, like, I'm popular. And there's a lot of people I don't know. So, it kind of made me feel like it's, it's slowly happening. But I ain't going to. Say it's happening, but you know. Yeah. So, um, has that has that point hit where you walking down the hallway and everybody like, ah, oh, they go quiet now, they go quiet now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it ain't all the way there yet, but it's gonna come to it's the point. Coming. Yeah, it's I feel coming. like it's gonna come. Maybe next year or something. Your parents, they gonna have to take Quando. They might have to take you out of school and put you in private school. No, I ain't. <laughs> I ain't gonna change. I'm staying in public school. Yeah. Quando, yeah. you seem like you're you're so humble, you know, and and I can really see big things for you in your future. Yeah, thank I you. really can because you just you're doing all the right things and you're staying on the right path. And as long as you keep that up, you head for the stars. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm. Endless, endless. Now tell us about your um your apparel, your your, your t-shirts and all this. Uh, it started out. I made the logo because like I used to make cover arts for my songs too. So I just made a logo. It used to be like a baby, like with a bag on the on the face, mm-hmm. like a baby with the BBE right there. But I feel like that was too basic. So I wanted something to stand out. So I found, a, I found a good front and got the little arrows and all that around yeah. it. But yeah, shirts uh 15 and the hood is 25. Yeah, how do you on these on this apparel he got going on? And I got you, I brought you something too. Oh, no, yeah. man. That's the hoodie right there. What? Just in time for the winter, baby. Y'all yeah. see it? Got you two shirts. Wanda, you gonna make me cry, man. I don't wanna uh, cry. I don't cry, man. I don't cry. <laughs> what else we got? Oh man. Look at here, y'all. Let me tell some look at here, y'all. Quando come bring your gifts to the cat. Quando. Oh my goodness. Y'all. At the Fox Cave Chronicles, we accept all gifts from our guests. <laughs> Thank you so much, Quando. You know, we're gonna wear all this. I'm gonna be representing Fox K Crumbers and Bad Baby Baby Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Now, why the name Bad Baby Entertainment? Why that name, Quando? So, I I be feeling like I'm in my bag. So, like, 
I needed a name that ain't nobody really got. Everybody got, you know, some of the same. So I wanted something different. I was like, bag. I, I wanted something with bag in it because, like, I'm in my bag. So mm -hmm. I'm like, bag, baby. Like, I've been in my bag since I was a baby. So yeah. I'm in my bag, baby. And I needed, I needed something else, like, entertainment. Because, like, later on in life, I want to make this a label sign other artists like okay come on kwando yeah. speak on it kwando manifest the kwando it's coming all of this coming y'all me and kwando made a deal let me tell y'all about the deal we got going on now i told kwando he blow up and i'm gonna shoot him a text or a message or i'm gonna, get, I'm gonna hit the phone up kwando i see you at the bt award man there you come. Then you know 5K Chronicles got to be there. There you gonna be there. You hear it, Dawson? Now, I told him, Quando, 5K Chronicles blow up. You know I got you. And he know I got him. Now, that's our idea. Just, just me and Quando. Now, all y'all, don't don't be trying to tell my... Uh, all y'all can't come. Nah, we can't take everybody with us. <laughs> everybody can't come with us. So, don't worry about this deal. We just let y'all know about it. <laughs> Quando. I want to know how is it going to feel for you to finally be able to hit the stage for the very first time? Uh, I don't think I'm going to be nervous at all. I don't think I'm going to be nervous. I know I ain't going to be nervous. I'm going to be ready. Like, I'm like, ready to turn up. <laughs> had it, had it I'm going to be rocking your bag, baby, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might come on stage and turn up with you. You know what I'm saying? You be super turned. I need you. <laughs> Quando? Yeah, I have to be. You know, this is this is in my nature. Yeah. I'm just. I think I'm born with turned up. Yeah, you born and came out the womb turned. Turned up. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So that's why I'm always turned. You know, but that's a good thing. You gotta have somebody keep keep it going. Keep it I'm like the hype lady. Hype. 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 The hype lady. Yeah, yeah. Quando. Let the people know how they can reach you. Like if somebody's trying to reach out or they want to know how can they get um, your mixtape, this, that, and the other. What are your, are you on social media or let the people know? Um, Instagram is Kwando, K-W-O-N-D-O dot underscore on Instagram. And I'm on Kwando A on Facebook. That's pretty much it. Well, Kondo, you got any advice for someone your age that's trying to do what you uh, want? Don't stop. Just keep doing. Don't let nobody tear. Don't let nobody bring you down. Don't let nobody bring you down. Keep going. Show them that you that you work more than what they think. Yeah. That's good, Kondo. You know what? As a young man, it's very important to um to stick to your morals and values. I can tell that you've been brought up good with good morals and good values, really respectful. And mm -hmm. you, I mean, you won't see that too much. A lot of kids, they disrespectful. They talk back to their parents, you know. They in the streets. They told guns, you know, and they heading down the wrong road, mm -hmm. you know. And, and what do you do to stay on the right path? I don't know. It's just... Stuff like that don't excite me. Like, okay, like you smoking, they don't, they don't excite me. Like, it just, I don't know. It's just how I am. It just don't excite me at all. Like, I've never been that type of person. Have you ever been like peer pressure to try to get into do bad things? Yeah. Like, they already know. They keep asking. Me. It's not gonna change at all. That's what I'm talking about. Point out. Hold it down. You ain't playing. You got goals and dreams. You trying to get so you ain't got time for that, you okay. know. And you stand strong on that. You know what I'm saying? Because this this gonna get you far. Yeah, right. You don't want to be out here doing what they doing. You are your own person. I always remember that, you know. And and I big up to your parents, you know, because that is they responsible. Yeah. They play a big part in this, you know, and. And, and it's good to have parents that support you and, and are there for you and, and teaching you the right thing to do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You just, you so awesome. Yeah. Awesome, man. Y'all, look, I couldn't wait to get him in the cage. I was like, my son coming today. <laughs> 
my my son is coming today, so uh, we on our best behavior in the cave, and we just so glad to have you, Pondo. Yes, you know, you. what we looking at on time, y'all? Any questions from the studio audience? What time do we start? Quando, you got anything you want to say before we get out of here? They want to shop with me, find me on uh, Facebook or uh, Instagram at Bag Baby ZNT. Yeah. I got all the merch for them. So you got the t-shirts, you got the hoodies, what else you got? I'm, work, I'm working on getting the pants right so you can have a whole jumpsuit. So you want to have some joggers? And the hoodie. Really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, no, I'm going to shop with you now. Yeah. I got to support you. Got to. I got to. I got to. Yeah, before we get out of here... Let me shout out the rest of my sponsors. Journey's Collection. Shout out to Justice Bayless. Y'all can reach her on Instagram at Journey's Collection. And you can also reach her at her email, which is Journey's Collection at gmail.com. She got the bracelets, the lip gloss. She got the hair clips and a variety of so much more. So thank you, Journey's Collection. Sweet Marie Luxury Bath and Body Commodities. Emily Jones, y'all shot with her. She just had... Pop up shop, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, last weekend. I heard that went really well. So, y'all shop with her. She got the bath scoops and the lip gloss and just so much more. Sweet Marie, luxury bath and body commodities. All right, Jay Discount, little shout out to Reggie and Jacqueline Anderson, 3188 West Northside Drive. Y'all shop with them. They got your wine, your spirits, and so much more. Thank you so much, RJ Discount Liquors. Shea Boy Rags, Alex Shea. He got your turbans, your do rags, bonnets, everything. So y'all shop with him. Follow him on Instagram and Facebook at Shea Boy Rags and www.sheaboyrags.com. These delicious treats and more, Harriet Gibson. Shout out to her. Y'all follow her on Facebook and Instagram at These Delicious Treats. She got chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate covered pineapples, candy grapes. She does cakes and a whole lot more. So thank you, Harriet Gibson, at These Delicious Treats and more. Okay, y'all, we got the Fox Cave Chronicles uh, sponsors, raffle coming. I think I'm going to do it at the beginning of November. So, y'all will be able to purchase tickets as well as cash apps to enter this contest to win a basket filled with gifts from my sponsors. Now, I know you got a sponsor, so I know y'all want some. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars to enter. I'll run it November, the beginning of no November for about a week. And I'll announce the winner that following Monday. So, y'all get ready to answer. Um, tomorrow, I got Oops All Vegan. This is a black-owned and operated business. He has his own food truck uh, with all vegan food. So, y'all tune in for that tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. I think the show is going to start at 7.30 tomorrow. So y'all tune in for that. This is a black owned business, man. We gotta support our people. You know what I'm saying? We gotta support our people. Quando, what you gonna take us out on? What song? Uh, we're gonna take my uh, ID. Okay. All right. Yo, shout out to my team. Everybody come be here tonight, but we know they would if they could. And the Fox K Chronicle reunion concert coming soon, y'all. I hope y'all ready. I mean, this is going to be one huge event. It'll be my first event, and I'm excited about that. So, I mean, I'm almost locked in on this venue, y'all. I'm excited about it, so it's going to be really nice. And this is just the, the first of many events I'm trying to put together. So, y'all support the Fox, you know. Um, Next season, we're thinking about, I mean, we ain't thinking about, we are going to start taking road trips out of town to interview local artists in other states. So, if you know um, local artists in other states that you think would be a good guest to be on my show, inbox me and let me know. And we'll see what we can do about getting them on here for season two. We're going to take a few road trips, you know what I'm saying, and 
we got to turn it up a notch for our people. You know, I'm doing this, and um, I feel like it's a really good thing. Um, a lot of artists, this is their first interview. You know, Quando, was this your first interview? Yes, ma'am. Y'all here? Right here on the Postcard Chronicles. The very first interview, I got them first. Yeah, don't be jealous. <laughs> But, um, yeah, y'all, a lot of the guests that come on, it's their first interview, and they so excited, and I'm happy for them. That's the joy I get out of, you know. It's a free platform, free exposure, free promotion. You get to turn up, do your songs in the beginning and the end. The people hearing you, the people going to reach out to you. Shout out to all the other states that, oh, I almost could. <laughs> Shout out to all the other states that fool with the Boss Cave Chronicles. I appreciate the love and support. Shout out to New York. Shout out to California. Shout out to Florida. Shout out to Texas. And shout out to all the other states that's watching. Shout out to other cities in Mississippi that fool with the Boss Cave Chronicles. They show so much love when I went down to that concert, man. People fool with me that I ain't even know fool with me. So. I mean, I'm excited about it all, and I thank y'all so much for the love and the support. The platform is here. If I ain't reached out, I will. If you reached out to me and I haven't responded yet, don't worry. I'm going to reply back. Just give me a little time. But we're going to get you on the show. And if you know somebody that needs to be on this platform, shoot me an inbox, and I'm going to see what I can do about getting them on the show. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know all donations can be are welcome and can be sent through cash app dollar sign f o x x y f i c that's foxy fit come on now y'all know our donations go to the show you ready to turn me up Quando? Yeah, all right let's get it thank you for coming Quando. thank you yeah turn me up what you got Quando? Yeah, it's fly. It's like it's fly, baby. Baby. Hey. Like fly baby i know come on now y'all see it My brothers gon' slide when I need it, and niggas be kept for no reason. All on Twitter they talking and tweeting. I'm a bag baby, so I'm ready to go. And the gas take it off and off and blow in your ass. You tell me you want some smoke. If you don't tell, then nobody will know. I'm on the first time on the I was young, had to be in by the street like. Yeah. All I do, you don't really put a tape like. So tomorrow I'ma shine like a headlight. I'm gon' go, I ain't stopping the red light. I'ma blow, I can't let these niggas take mine. I'ma be small, nigga, you ain't my kind. And you want me to be my yeah. kind. My turn is smaller, nigga. I'm up now, they wanna call a nigga. Boy, you used to dog a nigga. You know that ain't how I roll, my nigga. You stand with the cold, nigga. You stand with the cold, my 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 nigga. You stand with the cold,